There's moments I feel that I wake up and it's the October Revolution when uh, Stalin overtook the Russian Revolution and made it into the uh, horribleness and anti-revolution that it was, which was, uh, in rec you know, it was with history, we know what happened. But uh, when I look around and I see people like, uh, say, the supposed Tea Party people exclaiming that they're about revolution and that apparently reading the Bible is revolutionary and um, having the U.S. Constitution and reading it is revolutionary. And now if you read the U.S. Constitution and you want to go back to that, to me, to me, as an individual, you're stating that you believe in slavery, that you don't think women should have rights. And you can't get around that. That's what that document is stating. And one of my favorite theories as a teenager was the film theory. Or the strip of film theory. You take a strip of film, and you have multiple uh, play, um, existences going on. And as a child of the 70s, I watched Twilight Zone. I feel like I'm living in the Twilight Zone. This world, things, everything between schools, work, living, believing, loving, has been infiltrated and turned upside down by the Twilight Zone. If a comment such as the comment, the limited, intelligible comment commented by somebody from the Dark Dynasty, Phil Robertson, is making people upset. And you're not upset by what your government does every day with people like prisoners and and businesses and the red tape to get things started just for a business or for going to school or whatnot. We are living in the twilight zone. If you're not upset with the government being able to, one, turn on your computer and spy at you with your camera, with your own camera, let alone, they're able to tell you that you cannot make jellies and give or sell them to others or make your own beer or sell your own body or tell you what you can do with your own body. If that doesn't make you angry and and what a comment, a limited comment, a limited comment confined in the 26 letters that we are aware of. And, and people are upset by something of which a guy from Doug Dynasty said. Then fine, you know what? Go make your own duck call. That'll be the ultimate rebellion. You destroy that company not by... Not just by not buying the crap, not by just not buying the, um, watching the show, or buying the freaking merchandise that's in freaking Walmart and Walgreens, Kmart and whatnot, even high scale places. I gotta just do the hand, I'm Italian. But, go make your own duck call. That'll be truly revolutionary. And if you don't like places like Walmart, start your own store. And 
if you're if if you're not upset at the government with the the using their politicalness and the politics of the politi- of the political prisoners that are in prison for doing drugs whatnot and selling their bodies and whatnot that is the problem we're re- we're watching a show that has no implicitness that, that that's not important to our culture. That shows you where our culture's at, and it's sad, and it's sickening, and it saddens me, and it's why I feel that I'm I am a, I am in the twilight zone. And when you get people saying that they're a part of something, like say the tea bags, and they're a supposed revolutionary. Or because they read the Bible, no, let, read, put out that, look at that those Bibles, whether Muslim, whether Christ, Christian, whether Jewish or whatever. Look at the truth that they say. say. The WBC West Rio Baptist Church ain't that far away from how they really truly think. So fine, whatever. My time on this planet is 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 limited. I want to have fun, and then the media doesn't tell you all the truth. Doesn't tell you at all. Doesn't tell you about um, me getting votes in the election since 1992. And it doesn't say anything about me writing my books of poetry. But hey, whatever. But hey. What a comment by a guy like Phil Robertson gets people mad. Yay. Go United States. Awesome. Don't care about Leonard Peltier. Don't care about Mumia. Move 9. Pussy Riot. People in the streets dying. Don't care about supposed charities making billions and by being out there, I can tell you, homeless people get nothing. But hey, church is closed. They get a tax deducting. That's fine. This is the world that we live in. Upside down, turned around. Crap. Living in the October Revolution where people... And I'm not saying that uh, Obama is a Stalin. The Stalin came in a long time ago. You could say, I say it starts with Nixon. Even Kennedy. That's me. That's how I feel. Keep world.